we shall talk about character and string constants in this particular video session we had spoken about integer and floating point constants in the prior video so we shall try to understand what is a character constant and what is a string constant a single character when it is enclosed in a pair or when it is enclosed within a single quote is referred to as a character constant so yes is enclosed in a pair of single quotes so yes is an example of a character constant so if i have to declare a variable of the type character and give it the name ch and with the initial value s this is how i do it so here i am saying ch has a data type of character it is assigned or given a character constant value of s because this is in single quotes now just in case you are wondering will s be stored as s in the computer no computer understands only ones and zeros the binary representation of s in the computer code used by that particular machine is going to be used to store the value of s we had studied the different types of computer codes we had ascii we had we had ebc dic xs3 and so on so what is going to happen is this s is going to get converted into its ascii equivalent value and be stored as a binary number in the computer for example the ascii value of capital a starts at decimal 65 ascii value of capital z is 90 so b is between 66 to b is 66 C is sixty-seven and so on. I am talking about capital B, capital C, and so on. In the same manner, the ASCII value of small a is ninety-seven, ASCII value of small b is ninety-eight, so on, all the way till ASCII value of small z is one twenty-two. This one twenty-two and ninety-seven are in decimal. These are going to be converted into binary values, and a and z are going to be stored as they are binary equivalents in the computer. For example, the ASCII value of the digit zero is forty-eight. ASCII value of the digit nine is fifty-seven. So ASCII value of one is going to be forty-nine. Since I've enclosed it in quotes, it indicates this is character zero, character nine. It is not number one, number zero, or number nine. Now, you need to understand all characters on the keyboard will have or must have an ASCII value. Okay, there is no key. on the keyboard which will not have a value or ascii value or some value or some computer code based on what code the computer is using now there are certain characters like for example the enter key the backspace which you use to delete a character these cannot be displayed or are called as invisible character sequences on your computer so examples like tab new line backspace are called as escape sequence character constants now in order to display them or in order to use them we have to show them in a special way and i'll tell you what is that special way but any of these characters whether it is the escape sequence or the normal characters occupy a single byte of memory examples of escape sequence are if i want to display a single quote i have to precede it with a backslash if i have to display a double quote i have to precede it with a backslash then if i have to display a question mark i have to precede it with a backslash if i have to display a backslash i have to precede it with one backslash then if i want to create a beeping or a bell sound if i say backslash a this will give you an audible bell you need to understand that these particular characters are a single character although this backslash a shows as to it is actually one single ascii value or one single character so these are all examples of escape sequences null character we'll deal in the next minute if backspace slash b stands for backspace slash f goes to the new page slash n it goes to the new line carriage return tab horizontal tab goes like this vertical tab goes up like this if you want to display a octal value this is to display hexadecimal value this is if your implementation is going to use any special characters you can use it so you need to understand escape sequences 
or special characters which are preceded with a backslash are not visible on the screen. Most of them are not visible on the screen. Single quote you can see, but you cannot see beep, you cannot see the null, you cannot see the backspace, new line, and so on. Now, let us try to wind up this particular session trying to understand what are character constants. So, character constants are character constants are a sequence of zero or more characters enclosed in a pair of double quote marks. This is an example of a double quote. So let's see what is an example. So it is a sequence of characters. Okay, it's a sequence of characters, zero or more. It's a set of characters you can say or character constants. These are treated as an array of characters. You will know what is array once we come to that particular chapter. Now, before we jump ahead, let's take a look. Suppose this is a fixed character, sorry, this is a fixed string constant. So it consists of a number of character constants. Space is also a character. So what happens is I have declared str as an array of characters. Array means you can think of it as a box holding up to a capacity of 49. One is left for adding the null character at the end. So this particular string is not 49, it's just about 15 or 20 characters. So I have declared str, the data type which is characters, it can hold a maximum of 49 characters. This is, I have given it the initial value, this one. All these are examples of single character constants. In main memory, this particular fellow is stored like this. This backslash zero is nothing but the null character. Why do we use the null character? Or why does the compiler use the null character? Because it should know that after C++, after the last plus, the string has ended. If there is no null, memory is simply a sequence of ones and zeros. The string will never indicate any end. So null is used to indicate the end of a string constant. The compiler adds this null character automatically after the plus sign. So in main memory, welcome to C++ null is treated like this all right so this is how you need to understand what is a string constant a string constant or a string literal is a combination of zero or more character constant enclosed in double quotes that is what you mean by a string constant